Hi there, my name is Jim Hussey. I'm one of the lead producers at ASX, and I'm going to talk you through how we made Drama Queen. So Drama Queen, as the name suggests, is an album which is perfectly suited for scoring dramas. It's music which is quite classical in nature, is string-led, and wouldn't sound out of place on something like The Imitation Game, or The Queen's Gambit, or maybe even Downton Abbey. So we took that classical music, and then we trailerized the crap out of it. So essentially what you've got is two albums. You've got, on the one hand, Pomp and Splendor, which is just a string-led album, and on the other hand, you've got the Grit and Grime, which is the sort of more bold, audacious, slap-in-the-face, trailerized version. One of the problems we have as trailer music writers is, when it comes to sort of doing alternate mixes, it's really nice to have a string-only version. The problem is, because of the hybrid nature of trailer music and using lots of different synths. When you do a string-only version, you'll have big chunks missing, so it doesn't work in its own right as a string-led piece of music. So we decided to start with the strings. So we wrote an entire album using only string instruments. All the percussion had to be strings, all the writing had to be done on strings, to the point where we could literally give it to a quartet or a chamber orchestra and it would work as a piece of music in its own right. We then retrospectively went back and fitted it out with all the bells and whistles, the big risers, the big drums. The drama queen is almost like the, the, the two sides, we're kind of exploring the duality. On the one hand, you've got this sort of very refined, very proper and part of the social elite, you know, she moves in the right circle, says the right things and is sort of generally highly regarded. But this is all a facade. The flip side to the drama queen is that as you see someone a bit more vivacious, a bit more daring, a bit more bold. The result is two albums with very different personalities. One is very classical, polite, prim and proper, and the other is bold, in your face, and maybe even a bit subversive.